Good evening, everybody, and welcome back. Sammy here at Sammy J Stitches, and it is a new week. Um, it is actually currently Monday, September 28th, but um, I got busy Sunday night and couldn't, didn't get a chance to record this. Um, I may end up actually having to move these to a different night um, because of homework videos on Sundays, but I'll try and do both. But since I'm not piecing together vlogs, I'm actually recording this all out. Um, you know, it, it takes a minute. Today, uh, I missed up some of my introduction. This is a video about cross stitch. Okay. Sammy here. I said that, right? Oh, this is the type of day I'm having. Um, <clears throat> I had to get up early today because I had to make some phone calls. Phone calls started at one in the eve afternoon and lasted until 10 o'clock at night. It was that busy of a day. Hence the reason I may sound a little croaky. Also, I've been talking on virtual stitchers too, so it just, it is what it is. Okay, <clears throat> so I do have somewhere I have. I think it's in my backpack. My little bit of happy mail this week. This was supposed to come in a package I got last week. I don't know if I showed that package, but anyway. Um, it's some really cute needle minders from Vicky Stitch and Button. Tape stuck to it. Aren't they cute? I think they're so cute. Okay. <clears throat> that was happy mail and we'll get into whips I'm a hot mess welcome all right if you're new here um I hope you enjoy channel about cross stitch um if you are returning thank you for coming back time after time even though I always say it's a hot mess okay last week on Sunday now Sunday is usually my hate days um, on my rotation, but I was trying to, I, at first I needed to finish up some stitches I had started a previous day. No, that was this week, last week, Sunday. I don't remember why, but I worked on Anzac. So let me find Anzac. Um, I worked on this last Sunday for something. I think I was just working on scavenger hunt. And then I worked on this again this, this past Saturday because I needed, there was some prompt that I needed it for. Um, I think, no, <clears throat> I did have a prompt. I needed 380 stitches on it, but the prompt wasn't specific. It was just any 380 stitches. The reason I chose this was because I wanted to work on scavenger hunt some. My rotation has been all out of whack for a while and it's probably going to be for a little while, but you know, it is what it is. So in all in all, this is what I got done. <clears throat> so I started to come up here and then when I took the scavenger hunt photo that we covered this up, I let my kids take the photo. And they covered this up. So then I was like, okay, well, I'll need to work over here because you have to show where you're working. And so I couldn't work there. But uh, I got up to a stopping point here where I'll need to move the Q-snap. So next time I work on it, we're going to fill this in and then jump up here and fill in before we have to move again. So I think it's looking really neat, the color shifting. And you could see, because I did this earlier, you could kind of see my plan of... Um, adjusting the colors out. So this is Anzac by Long Dog Sampler. Um, it's on a misty fabric. This is Reflection from Mystic Fabrics. It's a 32 count Lugana and it's it's the perfect little blue with a little bit of white in there. Okay next I worked on Again, for some prompts, 
I really, oh, look, I've got my homework sheet here, so I can, I can get, I can get better. I can get less crazy. Okay, so for magical stitches, I needed something that nourishes my soul. And for daily 30, I needed something fat. I'll get there. And, okay, that's the only two on this one. So I pulled out, I'm having to pull it out again. Why is everything sticking together? Okay. Um, this is Good Intentions by Kathy Barrick, and it's on 32 count doubloon, 32 count Lugana and doubloon from Picture This Plus. And it nourishes my soul because cross stitching does. It nourishes my soul and um, helps me get through everything. So I put in several hundred stitches on that and oh and the something fat so her dress it it's not that she's fat but you know those dresses back then they had the um the hoops under them to make them big so that is where that one is at it's getting it's getting pretty close I think a couple more good days of working on it could get it finished we may see that finished by the end of the year. I really need to go through, <coughs> sorry, and mark what I think can get completed by the end of the year, even if it doesn't, just the things that feel close enough. And so that way I have enough new starts by the end of the year to replace those. Cause you know, I don't know if y'all are aware, but there's a group called No New Starts 2021. And so, Basically, the goal is to not start anything next year. Now, do I think I could do that? No, not really. Do I think I can go a few months? Definitely, not a problem. I don't get that massive urge to start things very often, but mania is one of those for me, so I don't, I don't know if I can make it past mania. We'll see, we'll try. The next thing I worked on was for for magical stitches, something that represents darkness, not a color that you consider darkness. We'll get to that. Um, in daily 30, something that's tilted, also something with a dominant color. Stitches were only 200 each, so getting two was easy enough to do. And for Crystal Academy, something with a key. So can you take a while to guess what this one is? This is Key to My Heart from Stitch Rovia. And yeah, I really like the way it's turning out. We're, we're definitely, I mean, we're all the way down here. We're finishing this up easily another um, time or two. So I'm really thinking this is going to go into my um, finish that stitch December. We're, it's like right around the corner, y'all. It's almost October at this point. So um, I definitely think this can be finished in a night or two. So unless it absolutely needs to be pulled out again, it will probably go into there. So mark number two for one, I need to replace with a new start. We'll get to that. We will get to that. All right, and that's a Color Cascades fabric. It's not... It doesn't have a name. It's just, it was the fabric of the month for March, 2017. It was sent to me from Bel Belinda Aussie Stitcher. It's a gorgeous red pink color. All right. So the next thing I worked on for homework was Legendary Creatures, which was kind of nice because that also meant I worked on my scavenger hunt a little bit. So I completely finished out this Q I L I N. Keelan? Keelan? I don't know. My French knots are not amazing. But I finished him out completely. And we started on this rainbow serpent. And I got quite a bit done on him, too. Like, I was blazing through this. Um, I used it for. Scavenger hunt? Is that it really? Let's see. Do, 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 yeah. I 
I guess I just used it hmm, for scavenger hunt. So it seems like more than 300 stitches though. Yeah, I'm not sure, but lots of progress made on that one. It's great. It's wonderful. Okay. Next I worked on a new start. So, um, <clears throat> Tuesday, I just felt like it. I had no rhyme or reason. I just felt like it. So I started a big Pokemon. And if y'all follow Rita Marie, or if you've seen her in the groups and, or seen her floss tube, um, Rita Marie stitching adventure, she has been stitching on Pokemon for a while. She's been focused. She wanted to get that thing finished in time for her son's birthday, I believe in November. I don't know, sometime before the end of the year. And, um, so she's been working on this hardcore. She finished hers the night I started mine. So I had a feeling that was going to happen, but it wasn't exactly planned. There's a needle in there. Okay. So anyways, I just got a little, little start on it. So very exciting. Sometimes you just need something new. Um, it's on a 28 count Monaco. All good. Um, <clears throat> next I worked on mini Alice in a Dolly Dream. I did this for magical stitches. Oh, I used Pokemon for penalty stitches on something with bread for magical stitches. Cause I didn't, I had one whip with bread on it, but it is not in my active rotation. And therefore I didn't really want to pull it out just for this. So, um, I went with penalty stitches and stitch on Pokemon. Um, we had a prompt in magical stitches where you had, e you had to have either the number eight, the number one or the number six in your, um, project. Then in daily 30, we needed, um, a whip with a pair of something. And for crystal Academy, we needed something with parked threads. Now, you know, if I'm working on parked threads, I'm working on Alice. So, and actually I've worked on her since I worked on her last night, but this video should have been before that. Anyway, so I got to work on her eye. I did a couple down here and then worked on her eye. Uh, these, these three are this week's. So, um, <clears throat> she has a pair of swans next to her. And when this watch is finished, there's a six right here at the bottom. It also has a one up here with the two, you know, all kinds of numbers on a clock. So I just absolutely love her. She's coming out so pretty for a mini. I mean, that's pretty nice. And it fit a bunch of prompts. Okay, <clears throat> next, I worked on Fairy Tale Lands 2. I did this because it has an apple in it where Snow White is, and we needed something with an apple for Daily 30. And also, I needed something closable. And, uh, <clears throat> no, I worked on Pokemon for closable because I there's a clam on it. Shelter, um, he can close, so... I could have used Fairy Tale Lands too, also, but I was already working on Pokemon. So <clears throat> here's this one. I worked mostly down here in the fox, and then I did this back stitching right up here. And I need to do a little more back back stitching. So, but this is where it's at. When I finish out this bottom area, I will have half of the project done. So, because all this top part is. I think there might be a little back stitching I have to go and do, but otherwise it's good. No, there's a tree over here I didn't finish. Lovely, okay. So, and of course we got some carriage and some horses before you hit the cutoff. Um, and then mostly it's just, it's going down. So we're working on the little prints down here. This is on 32 count linen in iced grape. 
I believe it's under the sea fabrics. I don't think she has this color anymore. I could be wrong, but I got two pieces of it. Um, so that I had matching for fairy tale lands one and fairy tale lands two. <clears throat> My throat is just really bothering me today. All right. And then I worked on Wednesday. I worked on sugar cookies and this is for, um, a project that's title starts with one of these letters, the word password. So it's sugar cookie starts with an S that completed all my, well, all but one of my homeworks for that, for all those groups. And it also completed my goal on sugar cookies for the year. So I can actually put this one up and pull out autumn, which is perfect because it is now autumn. So here's where we are. We got a part of an I, we have a K and O, 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 and then we're working on that C. It's just so cute. I love it. I want to hang it up in my kitchen. Of course, we all know I finish things. So this is on 32 count. Actually, it looks like a 28 count. So it might be 28 count Lugana in winter sunset. When I first started with Leslie at Under the Sea Fabrics, I was um, I was doing 28 count Lugana until I discovered 32 count Jibbelin. So, and actually part of that discovery came from one, I realized I like 32 count better than 28. Um, not in all circumstances and not exclusively, just in general. And then, um, I think she was having a really hard time getting 28 count Lugana for a little while because it was very popular. So I offered to move to the 32 count Jobelin and have stuck with that ever since. Okay. And then I worked on the Anzac again. That was my week. I didn't stitch on Thursday or Friday. We had a very busy week because it was my daughter's birthday. So that was ate up a lot of my time on Thursday and Friday. And then I did a little stitching Saturday night. She had a sleepover. All the kids were in the living room doing their thing. I was, you know, in my bedroom stitching. But I, then I was so wiped from having the birthday party that I didn't get very much stitching done at all. Um, <clears throat> and that's where I am at with whips for last week. And this is 17 minutes. I feel like I'm almost feeling winded, like I'm trying to talk too much or too fast. There's no point. Y'all are here. You're, you're good to sit for a minute, right? Pull out some stitching. Okay, but I don't have much more for you. So um, I'm starting to take notes. I'm trying to get a little bit better about having things to say. But I'm in a fog today because it's been so busy. So um, a little bit of the plans for this week um, include, I'm not going to pull them out, but um, Shores of Hawker and Hollow. I'm going to pull out one of my... Um, my Heaven and Earth Designs, even though I don't normally do this and pull it out of the understudy box, I am going to pull out one this week for my oldest whip. Not oldest, but like a whip you haven't worked on in a very long time. And um, I have not worked on Life is an Open Book Paris since we started it last, I believe it was either October or the beginning of November. And it needs 200 stitches in order to qualify for no new starts next year. It, to be considered a whip, you have to have uh, 200 stitches in it. So I figured I'd pull that out. Uh, Legendary Creatures, Alice, Anzac, those will all um, happen at some point this week because scavenger hunt. I am trying to get back to that. Um, I am going to have a new start this week. This week or next week? Probably this week. Um, I'm going to start January wordplay. Uh, oh, I also diamond painted this week, y'all. Let me show you a picture. Um, the diamond painting belongs to my daughter. She loves diamond painting. It was a prompt for Crystal Academy because they're trying to be inclusive to other crafts. And so I worked on her diamond painting for her. And uh, isn't he adorable? And I got to do it again this week because they have another diamond 
painting prompt. He's cute. Okay, and she actually has two, and that's good because I may have to do two this week. The other one is like a horse, I think. Okay, um, I'm thinking about pulling out Garden Prelude. Um, I don't, I don't remember if she's on, I think she's on my active list. I don't think I put her in the understudy box. I may have because I, w I had Miss Ladybug, but without Miss Ladybug, I could pull her out. Um, so those are my main, what I'm hoping to work on this week. I'm only working three days because I have jury duty. Um, so you know how that goes. My days off, I don't seem to get as much stitching done, but honestly at work, I don't feel like I've been getting that much stitching done because there's just been, there's been a lot going on, a lot going on. And I'll admit it. I'm pretty distracted. Um, I catch myself playing on my phone or chit chatting with friends and not actually doing the stitching stuff. So what is it? What is it? What is it? I showed all of that. Okay. I think that's it for me this week. I know it's a pretty short video. Um, I will try and do better next week. I just, I even had several things I worked on to see. I made a, a list. Um, but it's just that I'm tired and scatterbrained. So we'll do better. I promise. Um, <clears throat> I hope you all have a great stitchy week. Um, thank you all for joining me. Thank you for liking, subscribing, commenting, um, all the ways that you showed that you love me and I will see y'all next week.